here's the thing. It's another day. So there's another story of sexual harassment. This time, it's congressman and guy whose eyebrows don't match the drapes, Pat Meehan. <laughs> Pennsylvania congressman? Pennsylvania congressman. Meehan not only made unwanted romantic advances to one of his aides, he also used thousands of dollars in taxpayer money to settle the complaint, which explains that box you can check in your taxes. Would you like to donate $3 to a congressman's <laughs> sexual harassment settlement? <laughs> yes or too bad, we're doing it anyway. So, yes. Give them money. <laughs> so, so what did you pay for this time? Well, Mian, who is married, says he had a deep affection for the younger aide and told her last year that he saw her as a soulmate, but said he never pursued a romantic relationship with a woman. Pretty sure calling someone your soulmate is romantic. <laughs> yeah, I said she was my sun and my moon and my stars. Then I stood outside her window holding a boombox playing Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes. <laughs> but as co-workers, <laughs> you complete me, but don't read anything into that. <laughs> now, me in defense, he said he felt invited to express his romantic feelings to the aide as they shared ice cream <laughs> after work. Sir, I think you might have misheard her. She said she wanted chubby hubby, not a hubby with a chubby. <laughs> things got... Things got... <laughs> things got worse when Mian found out the aide had a boyfriend which prompted him to express his romantic desires and grow hostile when she did not reciprocate. Oh, who hasn't been there? You know, we've all had those feelings. Yeah, it's like the old yeah. saying, if you love something, set it free. If it doesn't come back, get angry. You know what's best for it. <laughs> <laughs> then, Mian made it all better by sending a handwritten letter in which he wrote, as you bask in this moment of extreme joy, I want to share with you my sentiment of how richly it is deserved. I pray that you might be blessed with children that you will raise so wonderfully in your image. To which the aide responded, dude, I just said I was going to Starbucks. Do you want anything? <laughs> uh, then, <laughs> then it gets weird. Mian recounts his trip to the Vietnam Memorial. And while he was there, he found two soldiers with their same last names. He wrote, as I traced the monument with my finger, I wondered who they were and why their plans ended so sadly and abruptly. You're at the Vietnam Memorial. <laughs> Take a stab. <laughs> now, Congressman Mian is defending himself, saying that the woman specifically invited his intimate communications. Oh, I did not know there was an invitation. Dear Mr. Congressman Meehan, you are hereby cordially invited to be super weird at work and oddly possessive about my blood life. Please choose chicken fish out of court settlements. <laughs> oh. Fish, I think. Fish. Fish. Oh, and that thing about being hostile to her? Simple explanation. According to Meehan, any hostility he may have exhibited stemmed from stress around high-pressure votes last year over the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> they will blame anything on him. <laughs> yeah, I told my subordinate I want to run away with her to a private island and just hold her until we're both consumed by the radiance of her beauty. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Meehan is being investigated by the House Ethics Committee, which has included such diehard crusaders against harassment as Congressman Pat Meehan, who has taken a leading role in fighting sexual harassment in Congress. Wait, I was supposed to be fighting sexual harassment in Congress? Well, <laughs> do I have a funny story for you. We got a great show for you tonight, folks.